How you doing, everybody? This is the Geeky Husband here. So I've been getting a lot of questions uh, from my live stream about how I was able to get a customized sprite for Spelunky and how I use it for my Spelunky Daily Challenge. So I wanted to help you guys do that for yourselves. So here you are, right on the uh, Moss Mouth uh, forums, you can come across this description of the modding tool. Uh, this is what you need, the spelunktool.rar. Um, download that. And you'll get that on your computer. Um, you'll have to unpack it. Um, I unpacked it into a file here, uh, right into the Splunky modded data. So what I'm going to do here is you're going to extract um, the Splunky content from these two items. And you're going to get these two files from the Splunky data that is in your system now. So you can find that by going into Program Files, going into your Steam file, then under Steam Apps and Common, you'll find Spelunky. And under Spelunky Data, Textures, you're going to find these two files. So you basically, you're going to copy these two files. Paste them in here. And we're going to replace them. And you're going to hit extract. It's going to extract, extract all the information into alt text. Alt text is going to give you all of the content that are in these two files so you can mess with it. Uh, that's going to be able to get into your players. And you have all different characters that are available, whether it be DLC or the main characters, which are just um, colors. So what I decided to do was I wanted to create one that was as close to me as possible without, without reinventing the wheel. So what I did is I took the character slave, which is actually um, in there, and I want to customize the head of the slave. The body I wasn't going to mess with. So I did this in GIMP. Uh, you can also do this in, you know, Photoshop. Um, for those that, you know, really don't mess with this very much, I find GIMP to just be a little bit easier. Um, I've used it more than any other, so I feel like I can, I can get more done with it. Uh, so you open the, oops, you open the Spelunky mod here, and you get all the little sprites. Then you can either play as your, you know, like re redesign this character within this size and in these designs so that then you have the ability to play as it. If you're not as art artistically inclined, what I recommend doing is actually just replacing the head. Um, so you can take, well, any of the bodies of any of the characters you might find interesting. You may be a female and you wear a lot of pink, so you want to have uh, the character that's wearing pink, but change the head. So what I ended up doing was I took my picture here. This is an icon that I had done. I actually then, in GIMP, cropped out the head of my character and saved it separately. So you got it here, right? Then you're going to be able to pull this, uh, just copy just the head. Um, right now, this is saved on, on this white layer. But uh, again, I would, you know, you can retrace once you save saved it separately or just hold on to it when it's untraced and paste it on in this image. Then resize it so that it fits the body and save it. Then you're going to be able to copy that head and recopy it so it fits every different body type. So I'll show you. I went from this to this. Again, all done in GIMP. I took the head, resized it for the bodies. You can see, like this one, I think fits better than any other. The head kind of gets <laughs> gets a little bigger, a little smaller. Um, the definition gets lost in a few of the pictures, but as you can see, it does seem to work. It does work very well. So you've replaced all the body types. You now have your new head on. 
Uh, this will take approximately an hour, hour and a half, depending on how quickly you are at rescaling and sizing and rotating the heads that fit. Once you've got it saved, you're then going to save this file as the file you're replacing. So what I did, just so I did it right, go into properties, it's character underscore orange dot png. Now this is the real Splunky character. This is the uh, this is the Indiana Jones looking guy. So saved it into this the all tech section under players as Eric Orange. Replaced the one that was there. Of course, I saved the one that was here originally so that I didn't destroy it or ruin it or anything. And then once you're done and you've got your image, you've got your guy all saved into all tech. You got all this well and done. You go back to your modded data. You take all tech and you repack. And what's going to happen? It's going to repack into all tech wad and all tech wick. Um, so now these are the files that you're going to take and put into Splunky. And so you just copy this, go back into the Splunky file. And paste it here. I've already done it. I'm not going to do it here. And then launch Spelunky. And uh, since my video is, is not going to work great, I'm actually just going to show you a quick image of what ends up happening. If you do replace the Indiana Jones character, sure enough, there he is. He's replaced. You see your character walking through the world as if he is the main dude. And then when you go into the Splunky character select, there he'll be in all his silly glory. So there you have it. Um, that Now you have the ability and uh, the know-how to get yourself, get yourself a customized Spelunky 